Hey everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, turn on notifications so you do not miss any fun entertainment. Today, we are going to be talking about Amberlynn Reed. The reason why we are talking about her bec is because of her health, her diet. Now, if you guys don't know anything about Amberlynn Reed, when she first started YouTube, she jumped on YouTube to create a weight loss channel. But all she has done was gain weight, lose weight, gain it back, gain more weight, jump from one diet to the next, to the next, to the next, always making excuses, always playing the sympathy card, all of this nonsense so people feel bad for her. She's always constantly lying and it's just really pathetic at this point. Like, I don't know why anyone would want to feel bad for her. Two weeks ago, in the span of two weeks, she has gained 17 pounds. Does not make any sense. I know everyone's body types are different, but how do you gain 17 pounds in two weeks? I'm not fat shaming anyone, but this to me is just very alarming and concerning because this just proves that she does not care about herself or her health. If you guys also watch Glitter and Lasers, AKA Anna, she is morbidly obese, but at least she is filming working out, but not losing the weight. But Amberlynn Reed, all she does is jump from one diet to the next, to the next, blame the diet, or blames have some excuse to why she that diet didn't work, to why she needs to jump on another diet, why she gained 20 pounds, and it's just like, how do we feel sorry for someone like her? How do we feel sorry for her? So in the first clip that I'm going to show you, she talks about how much she weighs and she also gives us a food haul. Weigh in, what I ate today, chit chat, maybe a cook with me moment. But right now I just wanna do like the introduction, get a weigh in in, and then I'm ready to eat. So a disclaimer, I will be eating in this video. I know in some what I ate today videos, I do not eat. But in this one, I probably will be. And I do like to do disclaimers because I know sometimes people don't like seeing people in general eat, let alone a fat girl. So I really quickly want to put my way in because I am so excited. So here it is. Hello, hello. So we're gonna do a weigh in. I'm pretty pumped. Hello. Hello. It's ready. Yes, it is. I've been doing pretty freaking good, you guys. So stepping on, let's see where I'm at. 489.6 pounds. Shut up! Wait, what? Now the four seventies are coming. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. Four eighty nine point six. Like I almost cried. I had like a couple tears in my eyes. I'm very proud of myself. So in total, um, from my highest weight, I am down eighty two point eight pounds. So that's amazing. And then since the beginning of this year, I'm down twenty eight point two pounds. I'm almost down thirty pounds. Like that's incredible. Like I told myself in the beginning of this year, like I need to do it because I'm thirty three. I am not getting any younger. Yes, I'm young at heart. I could be kind of childish. You guys know that, a little immature here and there. But deep down, like for real, for real, your girl's getting old. Like I got the gray hair to show for it. So instead of just like trying to be perfect overnight, I slowly just like intuitive ate for, I wanna say a little over two months. It was working, it was doing good. But now, you know, I was like, hey, a couple weeks ago, let's kick it up a notch. Like I wanna be aware of how many calories I'm eating. So I weigh and measure all my food. My goal is to stay below 2000 calories. I also want to add that Amberlynn said that people don't like to watch people on the internet eat, which is actually false information. There are hundreds of people who eat, who do mukbangs, and they get millions of views. So clearly people like to watch people eat, but people don't like to watch what morbidly obese people eat because they do not eat healthy. 
and they do not try to eat healthy. And if they do eat healthy, it's like one banana or a very, very small portion of what they are eating. And then the rest of their food is just a bunch of processed junk. Went to Trader Joe's, so I'm gonna do a haul when I get home. I just got some eggs, because I like to have eggs in the morning. And before anyone says anything, yes, this is processed food. Every single time I do a Trader Joe's haul, people always say that, and I'm just like, yeah. Um, I don't go there often, but when I do, it's like I, I stock up on like the things that I really like from there. It doesn't even matter. I'm counting calories, losing weight, and that's all that matters. So I got these snacky clusters. It's sea salt, potato chips, corn chip dippers, mini pretzel nuggets mixed in milk chocolate. So excited to try that. I got some of these sour cream and onion flavored rings, lentil and rice snacks. I got some olives. This is stuffed olives. It's garlic and jalapeno. I needed some soy sauce. So I hope I like the soy sauce because they didn't have like my favorite brand of soy sauce, which is totally fine. And then I really wanted like a pasta sauce, which they didn't have what I normally have because Trader Joe's doesn't have stuff like that. But there is a pasta sauce that I have been having, but I decided I'm gonna try something different. This is a spicy pasta sauce. So excited to try it that. All right, on to the second bag. I got some of their mashed potatoes, which I love. I got two things of vegetable panang curry with jasmine rice. I also love these. I love literally everything that I got, honestly. Um, I've never had this, which I'm sure I will love it. Cheese filled fiocchetti with pink sauce. I know that I'm pronouncing that wrong, so come for me, come for me. I already know what's happening. Um, I also got some Brussels sprouts. I got two things of this spicy jalapeno chicken sausage. I got a bag of the chicken gyoza pot stickers. Love. I'm mm, chef's kiss. Got a thing of some chana masala. I've never had this. I have had it from like uh, Indian restaurants, but I've never tried it from there, so I'm excited to try it. I got some peppered salami. Salami can be triggering for me, but I'm hoping I have it under control, and if I don't, I know to just never buy these again. So, yeah. And then, also got some ground turkey. Alright, so the final bag here. I got some of these rice cracker medleys. It's a mix of baked rice crackers flavored with soy sauce, salt, and vinegar, and chili with spicy green peas. I personally love stuff like this, so yum. And then I got some of these Mochi rice nuggets, and these are spicy. I'm excited to try those. I just got some broccoli here, some pulled pork tamales. I like making these in the air fryer. It's just mini chicken tacos. I got some Thai vegetable gyoza. If you guys remember, then you know. I got two of these mac and cheeses, which I really like. And then I got some of these salami sticks. I got three packs of them, which is six of them. Um, this is what it looks like. I was like, okay, I want to try those. I got some of these turkey meatballs. If you guys know, then you know. I went through a phase where I was obsessed with those as well. And then last thing I got are these buffalo style chicken poppers. So she doesn't care that it's processed food and she doesn't care what people have to think or say in the comments every time she goes to Trader Joe's. But the thing is, with this food haul, it's all processed junk, which is what Amberlynn needs to stay away from. The only fresh food that she bought was a Brussels sprouts and broccoli. Like this is what Amberlynn Reed really needs in her life. More fruit, more vegetables, less processed death. She even says that salami triggers her but she buys it anyway. When she is supposedly trying to lose weight, but knows that this is like one of her weaknesses, but she honestly does not care. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm gonna have, which I cannot pronounce, is cheese-filled fiocchetti with pink sauce. So it says on the back of the bag um, for stove top to use some oil. So I'm gonna be measuring the oil um, using about half of a serving, which would be about 7.5 milliliters so i'm gonna be cooking this in a pan okay so i have half a serving of oil and this is how it looks frozen okay you guys so i'm finished and i cook this down a lot like a lot a lot because i like my food to be cooked so a lot of the oil that was already originally in the sauce and plus the oil that i added is like still in the pan but regardless this is 930 calories so on a day where i was trying to stick 
below 2000, I would not be eating this. And if I did choose to do so, I'd probably only have like half a serving with like a ton of broccoli or something. So I'm gonna be having a water and a diet green tea Lipton mixed berry, so good. I always shake the tea before I uh, drink it because there's usually just like some stuff down there. You guys, I'm not gonna lie to you, but I could not eat any more of this. I'm not used to eating things like this anymore. It's just like very rich. It's delicious, but like my stomach is like, girl, no more. So I'm not gonna eat the rest of that, but I'm still gonna consider it the full amount of calories. Okay, so the next thing I'm having is a serving of these rice cakes, which is 30 grams. Sorry to have that measured. You actually get a lot for a serving, not gonna lie. And then I will be having six of these olives. One of them is 25 calories. Then I'm just having one pack. This pack, I just have it opened. It's just some salami sticks, which look like that. They're actually super good. Okay, so last minute I decided to just have four olives because I realized that they're pretty big. They're stuffed with garlic and jalapeno. So for this plate, it does come out to 350 calories. Honestly, this salami, I know it looks weird, but it's the best texture and it tastes so good. And you really do get a lot of these little thingies. And you guys know that I love a crunch. All right, so next thing I'm having are two of these pulled pork tamales. It's 340 for one of them. So 680 for two, which so far I've had 1,960 calories today. All right, so here it is finished. So with this, I'm just having a mini can of Sprite Zero. Okay, so the next thing I'm having is this Trader Joe's mac and cheese. It is only 270 calories. So I have had this before, so no taste test, but this is delicious and I definitely recommend it. So I'm gonna go warm this up in the microwave and enjoy. So I forgot to show it, but with my mac and cheese, I'm having a sparkling ice in black raspberry. This one is so freaking good. So this is what Amberlynn Reed eats on her cheat day. But to me, this is not a cheat day because you already bought all of that processed foods. So you need to eat it before it expires. So she's already eating this way but yet she's saying that this is her cheat day, does not make sense. She doesn't need that diet tea because it is still not healthy for you. She needs hot green tea because green tea is really, really good for your metabolism and it also helps you lose weight and there's a ton of healthy benefits in green tea that everyone should be consuming. So again, that drink is also processed and she could have just bought the single tea packets and made hot tea for herself and then turned it into iced tea if she wanted a cold drink, something that's actually more healthy. Amberlynn says she can't eat the rest of that mac and cheese, but in my opinion, I think she lied and ate the rest off camera to fool people to thinking since she's on a diet that she's not going to eat this, which doesn't really make any sense. But again, she shows us at the end drinking that diet soda. So everything in that she is consuming except for the water, it's still not healthy just because it says zero calories or zero sugar. Like there's a lot more healthy options to drink than all of this processed food and drinks that she is consuming. That is not healthy for you. Where's the water? Where's the juice? Like she could have easily made herself some juice. She could easily buy a juicer and juice her own juice. She makes a lot of money on YouTube, but she wastes it so much on all of this processed unhealthy foods. Well, I actually was not going to tell you this at all, but I have been off track the last couple of days. And the reason why I wasn't going to tell you is just because, like, I feel like there's so much judgment. Like, I have been doing really good and still people are judging so hard. I have lost 
a good chunk of weight, in my opinion. My body feels that way. Like, my brain feels that way. My soul feels that way. Like, I feel like it's been a really good... Sorry, there's like lint, cat hair, and everything else. Anyways, I feel like I've lost a really good amount of weight each month so far in 2024 when I said, you know, I'm gonna get on track. I'm gonna do this thing. I said I wanted to lose 100 pounds this year, and so far, like... I am on the path to doing so. Even though I've been doing really good, it's just like still there's so much judgment and it's making it like hard for me to want to like vocalize moments like this where I feel vulnerable and I know that I have done not the greatest and I kind of just want to talk about it and be open about it. But it's like so hard to do because there's backlash for me being human and making mistakes and not being perfect. As someone who has struggled with food for a majority of their life, I'm literally 33, like it's gonna happen. Like I'm gonna be making mistakes. And I know what triggered that. It was definitely my trip to Trader Joe's because when I go there, I get a lot of like processed foods. It was definitely out of like my routine, the things that I have been buying for myself. Like it wasn't like part of the routine that I've been having. Like I've been eating a lot of the same foods every single day and that's truly helped me so much stay on track. So then when I had all these new foods in my home, especially processed ones and ones that like just make me feel a little too good. Like sometimes foods like give me a high. If you guys suffer with a food addiction or you're an emotional eater, then you guys understand that. And I really wanna try to stay away from foods that like give me that feeling and sucks to say Trader Joe's is not for me or not for me currently. It's like, I just feel super swollen. I just have not been doing very good the last couple of days. Yawn. OMG, you guys. So in this clip, the reason why I showed you this was because it was her next video. Because guess what? This is when she jumped on the scale and she knew that she gained all the weight back. This is where she knew that she gained 20 pounds because of the way she has been eating these last two weeks because of all of this processed junk that she bought from Trader Joe's. So now she's blaming that she's human. She's lying. She's trying to play the victim and play and use the sympathy card because she gained all the weight back and she is scared and uncomfortable and wants people to feel sorry for her. So in the next video, the net that she makes, she jumps on the scale and that's when she weighs over 500 pounds once again. But I also don't feel sorry for her that she keeps making excuses after excuse after excuse. She knows what she is doing, just like what Eugenia Cooney does with her body and her weight. She knows exactly what she is doing. Um, as you guys know, in my last video, I said I was on track for a few days. In total, I think I was off track about six days and I decided to weigh myself today. And it's like, I have debated back and forth. Do I even want to post this? But it's part of my life. It's part of what I've opened you guys up to. And so I'm going to show it. So um, here is me weighing myself today. All right, you guys, so I have not weighed myself since being off track. I currently have the water running, so it has time to get warm because it does take a minute. Well, it has time to get hot because I like a hot shower. So that's what you hear in the background. So let's weigh in. I'm definitely nervous. Hello, it's ready. Okay, stepping on. 500. 500.6. Wow. Um, okay. I, mm. I need to go cry. So that's very unfortunate. I am back in the 500s and it's just like, I'm super swollen. I know I am. Like I feel it on my legs. Not once did I like binge or anything like that. I do want to make that very well known that I just like overate every single day because my body was really truly just like getting used to and like adapting to the fact that I was eating below 2000 calories. And then bam, out of nowhere for almost a week, I stopped doing that. And I'm gonna say I was probably eating about 3000 calories a day and my body is like, whoa. So it's, you know, I've gained weight in sodium. 17 pounds, Amberlyn Reed, gained 17 pounds in the last two weeks. 
I personally don't know how that is possible. But if you go over to her channel, you will see the clips and they are two weeks apart. I try to be as nice as possible, but how do we support someone like this? How do we encourage someone, help keep them on the right track? I mean, we could comment as much as we want, as much as we can to try to encourage her to eat healthy. But by her going to Trader Joe's, by her eating this processed foods, it's literally like a slap in the face. She has talked in the past about having surgery to lose the weight. She's also talked to like a counselor or a therapist, but Amberlynn thinks that she could do this on her own, but she can't. She has proven this time and time again that she cannot lose this weight and stay on track by herself. She really needs to stop wasting her money all the time going to Ross, going shopping, when she needs to put this money towards hiring a professional to help her keep, lose the weight, to help her with her fitness. Amberlynn is only 33 years, years old. She is still really, really young where she has enough energy to where she can be traveling the world, where she makes a lot of money on YouTube, but sadly she is house ridden basically just stays home unless if she's hanging out with her mom, going out to eat, going to the same places, or unless if one of her girlfriends, one of her housekeepers has a car, then they'll drive her around. But life is way too short and precious to not take care of yourself. Where's the fruit? Where's the vegetables, Amberlynn? They might not be fun or exciting, but your health matters. Your life matters. All right, everyone, well, I'm gonna go, but I hope you guys smash the like button, enjoyed this video, and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye, guys.